Hi and welcome to today's vlog. Bobby cat. Let's try again. Hi and welcome to today's vlog. Uh, I have just got back from the hospital um, where I had my third in total hip fluoroscopy. Um, I've had two in the past before I had my hip replaced and this third one today was because I've got tendonitis in my right hip and they hope that the steroid injection into the joint is going to help ease some of that pain, so fingers crossed. So what can you expect from a hip fluoroscopy? Uh, well if you watched my video last week, or a few weeks ago sorry, of my ankle fluoroscopy, they are quite similar, it's the same procedure just a different joint obviously. Um, so today for my hip fluoroscopy I arrived onto the unit, I was taken into the room and they make you sign a form to say that you're not pregnant and probably won't have to do this if you are male. Um, so they make you sign just to say what the date of your last period was, if there's any chance you could be pregnant, what type of contraception you're on, uh, because the x-ray is going to be around your abdominal area and obviously we need to protect if there is a baby there. So I signed all of the relevant forms. Um, you don't have to get changed or anything like that. All I had to do was drop my trousers sort of just below my bum. So luckily I'd remember to wear pants, so that's always a bonus. So I dropped my jeans down a little bit. And then you have to get up onto the bed, which is like an x-ray table, and all the x-ray machinery is above you. And then I had to sort of lie, position myself onto my side a little bit, and they shove like a great big wedge under your bum to keep you in place. Um, and then, to maintain your dignity, they create like a sling of sorts that they hook through the leg of your pants, and you get to hold your pants out of the way. Uh, this is because the injection goes right into sort of that crease where your pelvis is, it goes right into there so your pants need to be out of the way and obviously I had to hold my fat out of the way and all sorts of things like that, it was just wonderful. Um, so they check you're all comfortable on the bed, he then spends a little time getting everything in the right position so they use sort of a metal implement that they can hold over the joint and see on the x-ray and then they mark with a pen on you uh, where the injection is going to go in. Now because of where the injection was going in and because of how I was positioned I could see all this on the TV screens, or not TV screens, the x-ray screens. So I was able to watch what was happening and it was really interesting. So once they've used it's like a metal bar sort of about that long and they hold it over the joint, once they've found the right place and with me it's difficult to see the right place because my metal hip is in the way. So it took them a little while to find a good spot and then they pop some local anaesthetic in. Um, I've talked about local anaesthetic before, it numbs the area, gives the local area an anaesthetic so it's a good name for it. Um, it stings, the needle stings when it goes in and the first sensation of the, the medication going into you uh, stings a little, it's, it's quite like um, it uh, feels like it burns a little but this passes very quickly and pretty soon my leg was on its way to sleep. Um, so once the local anaesthetic is in they pop another needle in, uh, this is quite a big gauge needle and it's so that they can thread uh, a wire through it to get into the right place. So they put the needle in and then they look on the x-ray machine uh, on the screens to see if it's in the right place. They put some dye through to, so that they can see where the dye goes. It's called contrast. Uh, apparently it was very messy today and it was very sticky. I didn't know about that. I didn't know that about contrast previously. Now I do. It's sticky. Uh, and then they look on the screens to see where the contrast is going in uh, and then they can see if they're in the right place or not. Unfortunately for me they were not in the right place so the needle comes out and it goes back in, it's repositioned, and they do this and they keep putting the dye through until they know they're in the right place. Uh, again, with me, it's quite tricky because there is a big honking group piece of metal in the way, so there is some manoeuvring. And this can all feel quite uncomfortable, it's a very weird sensation. Um, it's not painful, it is weird and uncomfortable. 
it's not particularly pleasant. It's not at all painful, I promise it's not, but it is a little unpleasant. So once they're satisfied that the contrast is in the right place, and then that's how they know the steroid and the mixture that goes into your joint, they know that's gonna be in the right place. Um, that's then pumped into you. The bit where they put the steroid in through is over very quickly, less than five seconds. It's a quick, done, um, and it doesn't hurt at all. Uh, all of the needle and everything is removed. Um, they put pressure on it to make sure it wasn't bleeding, and then a little sticky bandage gone, goes on over the top. Um, all in all, I was done in sort of 10, 15 minutes, less than that. It, the longest part is them finding the right place. Um, and as I say, it is completely painless. It's really not painful at all. And although uncomfortable, the, the fact that the room that I was in was so wonderfully air conditioned, it was the most comfortable I have been in weeks, uh, despite how uncomfortable I was. I could have stayed there all day. Um, sadly, I had to leave the cool piece of that room and go out into this sweaty, humid outsides but fine <laughs> um i have been given another pain diary similar to the one that i showed you for my ankle fluoroscopy and this here again you pop in the information so the pain after the first hour uh, and then sort of the days previous and then this gets sent back to the hospital when you're finished and this just gives them a gauge of how well it's worked and uh, if it's been successful. I have got a review with my hip consultant in a few weeks so we'll see if I've had some relief from it. If I haven't um, I'm not really sure what they'll do next so I do have everything crossed that this is going to work because I don't know what the next step would be. Um, they're saying it's not my actual hip that's the problem, it's the muscles around my hip, so maybe physio or exercise or something would help, I don't know. Um, my hip pain has been incredibly bad now for a couple of weeks, it's agonising and I could just cry sometimes, it hurts so much. Um, so I've got really high hopes that this is going to work today. Uh, there are risks involved, obviously with any type of procedure, the risks for this include because they're piercing the skin, there's a risk of infection, there's a risk that they can make it worse, um, and there's a risk that they can hit sort of the big nerve that's in your leg and you can have a dead leg for the rest of the day. That happened to me in my first fluoroscopy, the first one I ever had. Um, I had a completely dead leg for about 48 hours, it was very exciting. Uh, I, was, I walked around like Bambi on the ice for days, it was glorious. Um, my hip is actually hurting a lot at the moment, this apparently is to be expected, it is likely to be very painful, sort of straight after the procedure, so I'm hoping that that will ease over the next few days. Um, I do have a right, a numb right leg and a very numb bum, uh, which makes walking quite a surreal experience. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you're going to be having a hip fluoroscopy or a fluoroscopy of any kind, you re it's not something you need to worry about at all. It is honestly completely painless. It's uncomfortable. It does feel a little bit weird. You can feel, you can feel the pressure of all the needles and things going in, but it is completely painless. I promise. Um, and they can work absolute wonders for you. Uh, the one that I had on my ankle a few weeks ago seems to really be doing the job. Um, so I have high hopes for the hip, uh, and I really hope that it works, I hope that it takes my pain away. So yeah, fingers crossed. Um, my plan for the rest of the day is to rest up, keep my legs up, not do too much, and just try and survive this insane heat wave that we are having. Um, as always, if you've got any questions, please get in touch below. I would love for you to subscribe so you can hear my random rambling all of the time. Uh, as always, please don't forget to check out my blog at www.estellasaurus.co.uk. Uh, leave me a like if you like this video. Uh, I'd love to hear from you, so any comments, drop them below, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.